beautiful new moon energies today. Ah, so uh, we thought we'd do this message uh, today, uh, just to let you know. So if you if you don't already know, my name is Claire. I'm the Circle of Light Healer. Um, Jeffrey is my partner, my beautiful twin flame. And he is out in the garden, um, in the vegetable patch. Uh, but I have transcribed a video I would like to share with you. Now, this um, this is a transcription from an aura session, as we are aura, uh, which is a past life regression modality. Um, we are raw Reiki trained, um, and we are also quantum galactic akashic readers we are which are all certified by rising phoenix aurora um in her mystery mystery school and you can check out her website i'll put the link in the details so just to let you know um also i have been meaning to share these um cup holder there's the, Jeff, jeffrey and i have both got these cup holders my friend um monica and uh, also her partner daniel they create these cup holders now they connect in um to your like kind of a signature energy that that would be an optimum um energy to be able to assist you in cleansing the water that you're drinking or any drinks um, I've got a little bit. So he, um, he's the throat here. The cup charger is a pillar of energy coming out of a piece of wood that charges whatever is placed in the center. Each one is different. Although the form is the same, John, Daniel advises that a person should not use a cup tray not intended for that person. So this is specifically for like, you know, set for you. The symbols are adjusted to the energetics of the person for whom it is made. There are different symbols on the cup tray in order to charge the drink with the energy you need at that moment. So it doesn't mean that all symbols crystals work at the same time, only that in a particular situation, situation, the right symbol or set of them will work to help you in the most appropriate way. Um, so the, since this is more complex energy structure than an amulet, because they also make amulets, which I, me and my children all have these amulets, which are are incredible but they um are actually to your own soul signature so they're not something that you can share with others i wouldn't be able to show you what that looks like um and they really do these these symbols are connected in they're like pillars of light and then they connect in with the different um crystals now all these all these cup holders are all different symbols they're connected in with um what your needs are um to assist you with charging your water station so um yeah i really wanted to share that with you I mean, in case anyone wants to purchase one they are uh, they also do amulets as well which you can't show amulets sort of on a camera so i can't show you mine um but they really are incredible energies and um i do highly recommend you um purchasing even an amulet or a, a charger um, for your water because they are very beautiful. Let me show you just a little bit more of a close up for you. Very, very, very beautiful there. Within this new moon, I wanted to share some uh, a client session that we had a couple of days ago, linking in with the new moon energies when we when we're coming up to the new moon energies, and she is a beautiful um, fractal of divine mother, and you just feel her her or oh, her energy her love within her words and i really wanted to share this because she also speaks about the sound of freedom movie um, which is i know touching many hearts we um actually it's not out within the uk as yet um i know it's out in america um, but we are still doing everything that we can to support and sending love as we do every day to the children um, of earth um, those all children of earth um, but especially to those ones that are um, in these um awful situations within child sex trafficking um organizations um so we really want to send a huge wave of divine mother's infinite pure source love light and divine father that beautiful protector energy and um, we want to send a huge wave out today on this new moon and so i wanted to do this video um and send it out send the love out to all the children uh, today that are that are suffering and i know it's it's really um it's really in the it's it's in the media isn't it every time we go in the media and it's so beautiful to see so many people are sharing um 
all this information that's coming out this disclosure about what's truly happening with the children and I don't think this you know just thinking about it is just it's it's so upsetting when 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 we're you know we're watching these things and we're, but we already know because within aura um, practitioners uh, when we have client sessions many of those sessions are assisting the children and I know when um, the YouTube you you will find different sessions where we are assisting the children energetically and therefore it, and it enables the physical um, also to manifest of assisting the children so um it's it is our main goal this is our mission um to save the children and we do not consent to this any longer so I, I wanted to share this this client session with you and like I mentioned before she is um divine mother fractal this session was the 221st session which equals to five which is divine mother's number which it always makes sense doesn't it Okay, I'm going to go straight into this now. Okay. So she was flying as a falcon as she landed on the ground. So I say, she says, I'm fine at flying as a falcon. She says, I am the falcon. I said, you are the falcon, beautiful. She says, I am scanning. I'm not sure what I am looking for yet but I am scanning. Take a deeper look at what you are scanning for. I am scanning for children. I'm flying through the sky and I scan and then I fly amongst the humanoids and I give them messages. What kind of messages do you feel you give to the children? Well, I let the children know that all will be well. I give them hope and strength and love so they're not scared. What do you feel the children are scared of? Well, the children have been taken. They're not with their parents. They are amongst beings that do not mean well for them. They seek to harm them. I see children walking in a line, in lines almost like with shackles behind their backs within their hands. I'm hearing trafficking, child sex trafficking. I stand and I see the children and I hope I hope and I send this hope out to the children. I send them a beautiful wave of love with my messages. You feel that their messages comfort you, comfort them. She says, yes. She says, I fly and I give messages also to the, ch to the children, but also to the elders and to the elders and also to the children that are in danger. Um, that need help and some hear her messages they feel it in their heart they know that they must act and that they must do something so she was like imagining the as she was flying over she was sending these messages to the adults and she was saying elders she means the adults and she was sending them messages of take a deeper look around you at what's happening she says, I feel that I am flying over Central America now and I am hearing border. So the border would be North America and how they are trafficking the children from Central America up to North America. As you are flying over and looking at these borders and how they are trafficking the children, do you get a sense of how they are transporting them? How are they doing this? I'm hearing trucks. I'm also hearing underground, underground. Some of these children may appear as though that they would be within a considered within a normal family. However, they are not. They are in fact with their abusers also. Some of these are also with their abusers. Their parents are the abusers. And they journey through Central America. There are people that look at them. They sense something is off. So then I connect in, as I fly over, I connect into those elders' hearts so that they will begin to act. No more shall this continue. Our children are not to be trafficked, trafficked, trafficked and abused. And I fly over and I connect to the hearts of the humanoids for them to wake up, stop being blind to what has taken place. They know it is wrong. 
they have been they may be turning a blind eye that is no longer going to be allowed where they can turn a blind eye and continue to go on about their day feeling as though it's okay for them to not speak it is time for the humans to rise and speak out against this child sex trafficking that is taking place we have to stop this we have to save our children and we know that the children the children are in harm we know that it is time the protection is here the protection is here we are here it's time for them to rise we thank you deeply for your assistance with aiding the children that are going through these terrible horrendous torturous moments in their life and as you mentioned you send these messages to the human's hearts is there any further message you would like to give the people about how they can assist well first they can begin to assist by believing that it does exist the awareness we are hearing the movie sound of freedom she's not seen this movie as yet she wants to see it but we, but we would not allow her to see it not before she had this session she could feel very deeply the sorrow the pain she cries she starts crying she knows, she feels the energy of the movie so strongly. We've got to go and watch for the watching of the movie. For those, it will activate their hearts even further. You will bring them into a state of awareness so that now, as they walk amongst their daily lives, they will be more in tune, in touch, paying attention to their surroundings and what surrounds them. They will be able with their hearts being activated to go within, go within, to do the work. Many have faced in some or form or, an, or of another abuse, whether it be sexual abuse, physical, emotional. And this movie is going to aid in humans doing their shadow work, assisting the children and doing their own shadow work, which is very important. Many think that they may, they, they can move their shadow work to the back of their minds and say, I don't have to deal with that, but they must, they must. So it begins first with the awareness. And then after the awareness will come the work. They will be divinely guided on exactly what it is that they are to do. But that guidance will come from their hearts. It will come from their hearts. Once we return to our hearts, they'll know what to do to aid the children as she experiences at times, she'll be talking to somebody and they're talking about the client and she can feel when her heart connects to theirs because their eyes begin to, to blink, their defenses come down and they are able to receive the activation that they are needed, that is needed for them in that moment. That is what the sound of freedom is doing for all the hearts that watch. It is a benevolent film. It is activating hearts, which is what we need now to do. What we need. The divine masculine with each of us is rising and is no longer standing for what has been happening. They are here to protect, to do what they came to do. That is what I do. I fly over and activate hearts. I scan those hearts that I can activate. Beautiful, I was just going to say, I feel, we feel our hearts are very activated from your words. What is, that is what she experiences as she drives her son to school in the morning. As she passes by, she sees multiple falcons on her path, not just on the road to school, but as she drives and she's connecting to those falcons. And then she's scanning those cars as they pass. She's activating hearts, those ones that agree the higher self's permission to receive the activation. That's the role she plays. Beautiful. Does she do this with other birds? Well, she connects to owls as well. She's thinking of when there was an owl in the tree of her, at her mom's house in the magnolia tree. Her mother saw the owl and said, I think that owl is coming for me. And she was correct. She was aiding her mother in awakening further. And she stood mesmerized as the owl was above, just right above 
and her mother's head and her wings spanned out. She could feel the vibration as the owl's wings came out. Beautiful. Going back to the Sound of Freedom film, I was wondering, do you feel there is a shift of energy since this film came out in America? Yes, that's what she has been feeling. She's been feeling the rise and the shift in the Americas, as well as she's felt that the Illuminati is doing all they can do to try and place doubts in the minds of the Americas. Because the Americas are waking up, this film has activated hearts, and there were many who thought this was a conspiracy, and that the film, what the film has done and is doing is activating the hearts so that those Americas know, they know it's not a conspiracy. In fact, it is real. And that's the awareness we've needed is for people to go from thinking that this was a conspiracy to knowing that this is what is taking place so that they can get into action. For they will not act if they do not know. And the film is aiding in the knowing that is what he's doing. See my cat behind my screen. <laughs> my cat is aging as well with the sending love to the children. And now we are coming up to the Cancer New Moon, which she has been feeling the energies very strongly. And she knew it was important for her to have this session before the new moon because Hollywood is doing all they can. We've, we've shown her videos where they are using immediate outlets to try and further program the collective that all this isn't real and that it isn't really happening, that the American government is not participating in profits off of this. That's what they are trying to do. They want to confuse further. Shall be no more. We're activating hearts. That's why the film is so important. Cancer in astrology represents home, represents family. And so hearts are being activated in homes all throughout America's. They are being activated. People are wanting to protect even more. Not just their children, but children, period. And that is what we needed. That's the rise. That's the energy she's picking up on. She could feel that they are trying their best. It's not going to work, but they are trying. She picked up on it. That's why she kept saying she builds this. There's something in her mind, something that's trying to block her. That is what she was feeling, sensing those energies, the preparation. They are trying their little black magic rituals. They are trying, but the light is bright and getting brighter every day. Getting brighter with every heart that views the sound of freedom. Did I answer your question? You certainly did. And the light is getting stronger. It's beautiful. It certainly is. You mentioned the upcoming new moon energies. And do you feel as they are using, that they are using the new moon in any way with their ne negative rituals? Or was that just coincidence that you mentioned them both together? No, it's no coincidence at all. They use the new moon, they use the new moon energies to do their black magic rituals, particularly the dark side of the moon, which is what we are now in as we get closer. So two or three days before, Last night she was outside and she was looking up and she was like, I can't see you. I, I feel you. I know you're there. But she couldn't see. She couldn't see me. She's that. She, she, she turns now into the moon. She couldn't see. She knew I was there. She knows I'm always there. And she suspected that when they were trying to use my energies to do black magic, because like such as Disney and all those lately, She's been seeing the Mickey Mouse symbol and it's been really turning nuts in her stomach. She's not been liking that view of the old Mickey Mouse that they're using to depict Disney. Yes. And that is because that image alone carries a lot of black magic, a lot of negative programming. So right now they are truly using that image to try and further program the collective and their black magic rituals to do it as feeding for their ritual because that is the image that they mark the market to children so with that she when she sensed and she really wanted to connect with i grandmother moon last night as she knows she always connects with i she wanted to see me and then she wondered 
as they are trying to use my energy? Are they trying to probe on further? She is correct. They are trying to use my energies. What they still can access, that is. That is what they do. The dark side of the moon. We've always told her when doing the energy work at the dark side of the moon, especially before she was shielded, before she learnt the aura, um, rising phoenix aurora shielding, um, and using her I am source love light, she started to realise that the dark side of the moon, um, there were energies that she was connecting to that were just not right. This is a time when those who are unshielded and those who play and use we use the word play because it's curiosity. A lot of the curiosity of those, as she calls it, play with black magic. They tend to um, do it more at this time because of, again, it being the dark side of the moon. This is also a time when you can look at, when you can look at the veil um, comes down. The veil drops slightly. She's always encouraged others um, for example, um, when they are trying to do energy releases or want to do energy work, um, yet they are not shielded, they are very open, she she warns them, or we won't use the word warn, we use the word caution them, as what she needs to understand is it is her guardian role that she's accessing when she speaks in that way, and what she does is she shares with them that it is wise when doing energy work and you are not a clear vessel and you are not working with someone who is a clear vessel to do that energy work at the full moon because you you have an energetic protection of the sun and the moon coming together within sacred union and so it is for those that she always recommends to do it in that way we always recommend obviously doing sessions with with a clear with somebody who is very who is a clear vessel and um, you wouldn't want to let anybody this is me speaking and um, you wouldn't want to let anybody connecting with your energy if they are not a clear vessel and we say it because we need her to understand that we have been speaking through her to share with her what's been going on it's the moon and the energies of the moon but yes this is a time where they do their black magic rituals. This is a time, and it's not just this moon, it's every moon, every new moon, dark side of the moon coming up, every just before those few days right before is typically when they like for, for assistance to go into their basements and into their underground caverns and caves. This is the time when they do their rituals. She needs to know that she it was not a coincidence um, um, that we mentioned the new moon and um, the rituals in the same um, sentence. Did I answer your question? Yes. Greetings, Grandmother Moon. Thank you for speaking to us today. We love Anna and respect you. Thank you. And yes, you confirmed what, what Jeffrey and I have been told through our higher selves. We send extra love light and hot space around those two or three days in the run up to the new moon because of this dark moon energy as the sorcerers like you say they like to come out so thank you for confirming that for us um that's what we were receiving in our knowing so it's beautiful for her to hear it from you so thank you you're welcome so do you feel as though this is something for us to share like she's sharing with her loved ones and people that she shares like with her friends and family family Yes, you can share this. It needs to be shared. Even in your, she's saying your blogs or your posts, um, we really do need to share. We need people to understand throughout these last few years since 2020, she has encountered many that have tried to infringe on my energies, grandmother energies through her. And it's been at the dark side of the moon. And yes, it needs to be understood. This is a time when light warriors need to stand strong in their love light, sending love, not just love. She likes to say love light. She doesn't like the separation. This is the time light warriors need to send love light, extra love light healing to the moon as well and, and also to others. Thank you. Thank you for your message. We will share this. Do you feel that this heightened time for rituals during the new moon the, the the dark side of the moon linked in with the children as well when they are doing rituals on the children absolutely yes yes it is and this is why we need to send extra love to the children to the moon to um all of those beautiful energies that you wish to send love to 
So then we um, brought the higher self through for um, a beautiful chat there. Greetings, higher self and divine mother comes through. Do you, I do have a couple of questions. Um, and would you, before we start going to the body scan, you showed her that she's a beautiful falcon that is a message for the children. Is there anything that you would like to share, Divine Mother, regarding her role as the messenger, the children? Is there anything further? She's obviously a beautiful, it's obviously shared a beautiful message, but is there anything else that you would like to share? That was I sharing the whole time. And so I start laughing. Um, she's connected with I, yes, thank you, we love you. She's a messenger and she is the falcon. And she is out activating hearts. That is one of her roles. Beautiful. And she's not only activating the hearts of children, she's activating the hearts of the divine masculine as well so that they can rise and protect and protect. We need our light warrior energy. It's now time, light warriors. And we need our divine masculine. We need divine feminine. We've been carrying the ascension We've been carrying on through this ascension process, and that is what the unification that occurred at the solstice is now, um, is now a, now the divine father is here, and now we are in our sacred union. We activate hearts. We need our light warriors together because divine masculine energies, um, are here, um, and we are to unite with our feminine. Now, um, and that is how we stop the abuse of the children. Many mothers, many mothers have cried out asking for aid of their children. She's connecting right now with, I'm scanning her memory. She does not know who this person is, but it's important. There's something to do with the Mexican culture. There's a mother that, there's a tale that they speak of, the mother um, that is um, wandering around looking for her children and their children have been taken. Yes, I know the tale. Okay, she's connecting with that now. The mother is asking for aid. Yes, that's what we're doing. That is what we're doing. And we call forth the Divine Mother and Divine Father assistance. Um, and so we um, become together in unity of source. Yes, divine, the mother is calling for aid. She's calling for aid. And this is going out throughout all of Central America, Mexico, throughout all of the Americas where she was the falcon flying above. She is now sensing all of this beautiful, pure source love light energy going out. So then we call in um, a huge amount of benevolent team and we start sending a beautiful wave of pure source love light together. And we send this um, within those, the dark side of the moon energies to counterbalance any rituals as well that was, that um, any sorcerers were trying to, or Hollywood were trying to um, place upon the energies. So we're sending this energy. Can you feel the power? It's so strong. It certainly is. We connected with all of the uh, those involved. We asked for all of the higher self's permission to send out this beautiful wave of pure infinite source of light to assist all of the energies that we were connecting to within this session earlier. Um, and this is just part of her session. She went on and carried on doing um, many other beautiful collective clearings within the waters, but some um, other energies that we cannot share here today. But it was an absolutely phenomenal session. And I just wanted to share that. So we have got that awareness of, um, you know, some some people might be listening to this to this this message today that I haven't heard of the sound of freedom movie and they might start looking into it and they might start connecting in more with what is happening um, and some people might have heard of this film and they might just feel through her words and um, the love that divine mother is sending out through the falcon and sending the messages next time you see those falcons flying take a look up what message are they trying to give you today and also when you're connecting in with the grandmother moon, always remembering to connect in with the benevolence of the grandmother moon, because there are some still dark energies, as she mentions, within, within her on the dark side of the moon that we are doing, we are working with. It's a constant energy um, that we are assisting with. Um, and many aura practitioners are doing that. And many, many people, benevolence, are assisting grandmother moon to become fully, totally organic 
um, once more. So connecting in, and she is bene- she is benevolent um, in nature. We just uh, have to be more curious when it's the dark side of the moon. Okay, curious. We have to be more cautious during the dark side of the moon. Um, always using those words, benevolent energies, connecting in with the benevolent. Okay. Well, thank you for joining us today. Um, like I mentioned in the beginning, if you would like an aura session um, or raw Reiki, um, a quantum galactic Akashic reading, um, please take a look at our website, circleoflighthealer.com. And also, again, remembering if you would like one of the an amulet or a cup holder also, um, that you can follow the link in, in the details if you would like to charge your water. Okay, beautiful energy, enjoying this new moon energy and remembering the next new moon take put it in your diary for those couple of days before the new moon's coming in and just send ask the divine mother to send her beautiful pure infinite source of light to counter any um counterbalance any negative energy that has been um, wielded through rituals and also sending love on the 555 hour um, a rising phoenix aurora teaches this to send on the 555 we send love to the children take that time to go in sending love to the children all children and those ones that are going through such terrible terrible moments in their life um we will we will we will get through this we will assist the children we are assisting the children um, let's keep going. Okay. Valuvia. Valuvia. Thank you for joining us. Mm-hmm.